this episode, I'm going to continue share with you for my Chinese New Year Eve big dinner. Uh, another very important one, which is a fish. We have to eat it for our Chinese New Year Eve dinner. Why it is like this? Because fish in Chinese that it pronounced yu, same pronunciation for much more, a lot more. So that also means yeah, that will bring you a lot more money, more fortune, everything more for the new coming here. Uh, I mean, for the new year. So that's the reason why fish is uh, so important, the uh, course, I mean, in this Chinese New Year Eve dinner. Um, that's also what I'm going to prepare. And this one actually is so easy to cook. Well, this one I picked it from the Chinatown uh, supermarket. And this one is a uh, red tilapia fish and it's quite fresh. Actually, when you buy like this kind of fish, they also give you some green onion, ginger, everything for you to, you know, ready to cook. Besides it, actually, I do need some other green uh, onion and also some ginger. I'm going to tell you. So let's come down to the ingredients first. Besides the fish, we also need uh, oyster sauce, sugar, and soy sauce, the light one, cooking alcohol, vinegar, and the cooking oil. Mine is actually olive oil or any any kind of vegetable oil also cook perfect. And besides those, I also prepare some slices, this um, red bell pepper and orange bell pepper because I want to decorate on top of the fish. How to cook fish? Actually, I have another video talking about the other way of cooking fish. So like what I mentioned before, um, usually if the fish is quite fresh, you purchase it, I mean, you just got it or you just uh, you know, I got it uh, from the water tank or go fishing. That's so fresh one. We usually either steam it or use water to boil it because my steamer is small. So that's the reason why I'm going to use water to boil it, which is also same taste and so easy to cook. And some of the ocean fish, that means being freeze for being frozen for a long time. So usually we're going to cut them into pieces and stew the fish because um, that would be better taste to those uh, you know frozen fish. You know, be a long time. Uh, sitting now inside the fridge. So anyway, um, I'm going to actually this fish already been cleaned up. But I'll still gently wash it, and at the same time, um, heat up the pan. I mean the pot behind me uh, with some water. How much water you need? It truly depends on how big your pot is. You are going to need the water to uh, enough to hold at least two thirds of the fish when you sink it inside. It's supposed to sink at least two thirds of the body of the fish. Of course, if you can sink it for the whole fish, that will, that will be even better, but at least two thirds. Okay, so let me clean it up and uh, I'm going to show that very soon. start to boil, you put your ginger and uh, your green onion inside of it. And also the cooking alcohol. Three tablespoons of cooking alcohol. You can see the water's bubbling, and then it's the time for you to put your fish inside of it. And then you're going to cover it with a lid. I mean, adjust your stove to be medium. Just like the water, a little bit bubble, the whole fish like this will be perfect. And then cover with a lid. Make it simmer about seven to 10 minutes. Or you use either your fork or I usually use a chopstick to poke the fish. If the thickest part of the fish meat could be poked through, that means it's ready. Then I'm going to show you the rest of things I'm going to do. Okay, so right now my fish actually is ready. How to test it again? Use your chopstick. This is the thickest part of the fish meat at the back, right? So just poke it through like this. 
No problem. That means this fish is ready. So let me get it out and show you the next step: how to decorate and how to make the sauce pour on top of the fish. Get out the fish shell. You need to lick it, lift it up, and quickly to do it. Because you see the fish is very very tender and uh, don't worry about uh, if you have like a broken part no problem because when you put it on the plate uh, later on we're going to cover it with so many colorful ginger green onion so it is okay right now we need to heat up a small pan and I'm going to cook the sauce so you need number one heat up pan then you put two tablespoons of this oyster sauce Tablespoons of the soy sauce. When the pan starts to heat up, like it's the bubble one, you need to adjust it to be low because the sauce is so easy to be overburned. And then you also need your sugar. Put one tablespoon of sugar. I mean one teaspoon of sugar, I'm sorry, and a half teaspoon of the vinegar. Mm -hmm. Heat it up. You can smell it. The sauce off it smells so good. So be careful if you are, your uh, fire at the heat is too high, that will make the sauce overburn, so medium would be perfect. When you do it, you better use chopstick to you know, keep on stirring it up because the sugar is so easy to be overburned at the bottom of the pan. This is something we don't want. When the sugar melting and everything, the sauce, you heat up good. You can see the little bubble from the bottom of the pan. That will be perfect. Yeah, like that will be perfect. Then, what I need to do is we are going to pour it on top of our fish. So good. In Chinese way of cooking, we you we always like to heat up the sauce. Excuse me, sorry. We always like to heat up the sauce because when you heat up the sauce, it truly make everything more tasty. Especially the sauce taste will always come out so good. And then you need to simply clean off your pan and heat it up again. At the same time, we're going to decorate this fish. Just make it more colorful. So you can tell the green onion and ginger are cut it here. It's very, very thin, very slim. So the thinner, the better. Another thing I'm going to decorate, that is I'm going to put one of this red pepper and the mouth of the fish. So on top of this. I know it's a little bit weird. And this is Chinese way. When we cook fish, we put it. You know, we we, we eat the whole thing. All right. <laughs> All right. Better. And right now, my pan is heat up. What I need is I need to put my olive oil into it. About three tablespoons. 
tear it up. You can see. I'm gonna heat up right now. It's time. What I'm going to I'm going to pour on top of my ginger, my green onion. That is the fragrance part. Smells so good. So this is my delicious Chinese scenery dinner for the fish. When I use the water to boil it, you also can use your steamer to steam it, either way. But you can tell this is so easy to cook and it's so simple to cook and also fast cooking. The whole thing to cook it is just about 10 to 15 minutes, that's it. And the taste of the fish is just so fresh and delicious. And you can see the color, it's just beautiful, so appetizing. And uh, this is the episode I share with you about my New Year's Eve dinner. Of course, I have other episodes and videos to share with you about my dumpling and also uh, my beef things, everything. Come to my website down below and check out the other videos I share with you guys. I also talk a lot about the cultural difference between uh, West and East. So give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.